guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all good. And first I'm going to apologise because it is so warm in England right now. I'm down in Brighton, it's about 32 degrees C and it's like a sauna in this room stood next to all this stuff. So I keep patting myself down with a towel and that's why I've changed shirt because <clears throat> it is really warm. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at the Hughes & Kettner Tube Meister Deluxe 40. Hopefully some of you guys have seen the demo that I did of the Tube Meister Deluxe 20, which is a stunning amp. And as you can imagine, this follows on from that. It's just a bigger, louder version with a couple of different features and to be fair, a couple of really cool features. It's 40 watts, so it's got four EL84s in there and then you've got your ECC83s and your preamp tubes. And we've got three channels this time. So we've got clean, crunch and lead. The clean has its dedicated EQ, uh, gain and volume, and then the crunch has dedicated master and gain, and lead has dedicated master and gain, and both the crunch and the lead share an EQ. The back panel does look very familiar to the Tube Master Deluxe 20, but there's a few extra features that you can see. Firstly, we've still got the Hughes and Kettner's Redbox AE, which is their awesome cab simulator built into the amplifier. I've got an XLR plugged into that so I'll be able to blend between my Two Notes Torpedo Studio and the Red Box to show you the difference. Super handy if you want to record at home and you don't want to be annoying people because of the volume. You just plug your XLR straight into the back, you don't even have to be plugged into a cab and you're just going to get awesome tones at really low volumes. Something else really cool about the Tube Meister Deluxe is that it also has the Hughes and Kettner TSC, which is the tube safety control, which essentially monitors the health of your tubes all time. And furthermore, we also have the power soak feature. This head can go from 40 to 20 to 5 watts to 1 watt. And then you can even have a zero output mode, which is if you're just using the red box. It comes with a foot switch, which is an optional purchase if you want to buy that and that is the Hughes & Kettner FSM432 Mark III. It's a MIDI foot switch and what it allows you to do is control the amplifier via MIDI and you can also program it using this foot switch. If you're wanting to create a preset with the foot switch, it's super straightforward. Obviously you have to have it plugged into the amplifier, but the next thing you want to do is find a tone. So you might want to use the lead channel for example, with the effects loop on and you might want it power soaked to 20 watts. Once you've got that in and you've dialed it and you enjoy the way it sounds, then you just hit the learn button on the back and then simply press the foot switch you wish to store it to and that way you can recall it anytime you come back to that foot switch. So all you have to do. For the demo I'm going to be using my Fender Strat and I'm also going to be using a PRS Custom 24 to get some humbucker tones and in the effects loop I shoved the Strymon Big Sky to get some nice epic reverbs. So let's hear it.
Okay, so there it is. There's a Hughes & Kettner Tubemeister Deluxe 40. It is so warm in here with this amp blasting out. It sounds awesome. I really, really enjoy this amp. I love the way it sounds, just because it works really well with humbuckers and it works really well with single coils. And some amps don't do that, to be honest. Some do, some don't. What I noticed about the Hughes & Kettner stuff, especially when I was in Germany, um, is that when I played a Strat through it, it sounded great. And when I played a, my Relic through it, it sounded great. So. That's something I really like about them. I, I like the size and the, the tones are really good, nice and easy to play. It doesn't challenge you with your, you know, the way you play, it just kind of moulds around how you do stuff, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, the Deluxe 40 is $709.99, you can get that online from plenty of retailers. Uh, and then the FSM 422 Mark III is about £119 if you wanted that extra flexibility with the amplifier. My advice is that if you do a lot of live work and you have a lot of pedals and a lot of stuff that you need to sort of get right, I would recommend the foot switch because it makes things easier. It, you know, you can toggle on and off your effects loops and different wattages and things like that. So it is important that you've got that flexibility. But anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information, please go to the description box below and I would love it if you'd comment on this video, let me know what you think and let me know what else you would like me to review. Until next time, I've been Rabir, and I'll see you soon. Then I, I will <laughs> give you the rest. <laughs> Is this a good idea? No. We'll just walk, it, walk into it rather than doing it straight away. Right. do it anyway. Oh, oh, that's insane. That wasn't even an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary.